Hello and thanks for joining me to learn a little about the Michigan Children's Trust Fund, a unique public-private partnership that funds and promotes child abuse prevention programs here in Michigan. Let me, let me talk a little bit about child abuse prevention because we're often asked, what does that mean? Well, what we really do is we focus on the positive. Then we know that when we do that well, that the evidence tells us that good outcomes happen not only for the kids, but for the parents. Local councils have numerous programs that are very successful and examples might include parent education classes, support of a baby pantry, child sexual abuse prevention programming, and cyberbullying prevention, a whole variety of wonderful programs to help keep our families safe and strong. One of the great things about our grant application process is it teams up with the local councils who are already active in the communities. That way there's networking, there's making connections for other referrals. It's really connecting each grantee into the community with a grant program that fits the community. Through their network of 73 local councils and 24 direct service grantees, the Trust Fund reaches all areas of Michigan from urban to rural. Their funding supports a wide variety of prevention programs. Today, we're going to briefly visit just a few to highlight some of this critical work. Education is a major component of the programs funded by the Trust Fund. Parenting education, as well as other classes for children and families are priorities for CTF, because this is where prevention starts. With our cyber safety program, we teach cyberbullying, sexting, we teach about online predators, we teach about digital reputation, we teach online security and privacy. In short, what we are teaching is how to be a good digital citizen and how to teach them about digital hygiene, digital literacy, and digital etiquette, and also digital self-defense. When any baby born in Chippewa County is uh, brought a gift, and it's a bag full of a parenting binder, and it has um, some safety information. That has five sections of parenting information in it. Then um, we put a community resource directory in there, and that has all the social services, churches, daycares, agencies all listed by county. It also has outlet covers, it has sippy cups, medicine spoons. We give them two children's books, the hardcover board books for them. And then there's also resources for community services that are around. We want parents to know that the most important thing about being a good parent is to know what your child is supposed to be doing and at what stage they're in in their growth. So we bring them that information, we teach them as the child grows, and we stay with them for uh, sometimes two, three, maybe even four years if necessary as they go through all of those stages of transitioning. The Babysitting Basics classes are my favorite to teach because I am impacting kids. Um, I'm helping them to learn about the responsibilities and safety for children. So when they're parents, it's going to be second nature to them. This education and support for families reaches into Michigan's communities and its impact is immediate and immense. There was a lot of uh, resources for like breastfeeding. There was a little thing about postpartum depression that I read which was really helpful for me about bonding with your child and coping with stress and and even fathers bonding because I was a little worried there. So that was really good article. I was actually really worried because he was premature about SIDS. So I read that and I made sure no one smoked around him. You know, he went to bed with no blankets around him, no pillows around him. And he's still actually sleeping next to me in his own bed because I'm still worried about it. At the time that I first came to community fatherhood, I was really struggling. Um, there was a lot of things going on between my daughter's mom and I, and through Community Fatherhood's action, I have actually helped grow that relationship a little bit better, so we're not always fighting, so we can actually somewhat talk. Well, to be honest, I was ready to give up my kids, because I didn't know where else to turn, what else to do. Um, I felt I was failing them, and with the help of the classes, it's really helped. I'm more relaxed, kids are more relaxed, and just in the few weeks that I've been doing it, I've got a good turnaround with my kids and with myself. Just a relaxed environment when she comes over. It's really, really relaxed. Um, I can pretty much ask you anything, talk to you about anything, you know. Definitely appreciative of the support, that's <laughs> for sure. The CTF dollars are serving the incarcerated families in the jail. The mothers is where we first started. 
We've now received authorization to expand our programs to the male population. My daughter was incarcerated in Flint. One of the things that started it was a program for visiting children um, on every other Saturday, and they were allowed to come in and visit their parents um, to create that bond um, that's desperately needed. To me, it's personal. I didn't have a father growing up. In our men's group, and we came together uh, to talk about different issues that men might have. That men's group is open to any, any father, father figure, or any man, period, that wants to attend it, and you talk about different issues. Community fatherhood is more about building a relationship and maintaining a positive relationship while still establishing your ground rules and keeping them enforced. There was a huge gap in uh, parenting education. That was one of the biggest things that our community needed and it was difficult to provide that without any funding or support, training for the instructors. That's the first thing that, that the entire council wanted to see happen. Well, in the Love and Logic Parenting Series, it covers both the importance of bonding and um, connecting with your children, but it really focuses on discipline. I have a, a lot of times that the parents that come to my class are just at their, the end of the rope. These people and local programs we've heard from today are just a small sampling of the important, critical prevention programs that CTF has been supporting since 1982. Thanks for taking the time to learn about this significant organization and the impact it makes on the children and families of Michigan. We have raised over $50 million and distributed it to communities throughout the state of Michigan to do child abuse prevention work. And in addition to that, uh, uh, thousands and thousands of children have been served. The Children's Trust Fund has meant to me to be able to have that person there, have that entity there that we can always look to for not just funding, but for support and guidance and help and encouragement. Helping the children, helping the parents parent, uh, keeping babies safe, that is the fundamentals of a safe, healthy community. Mm -hmm.